real blue, purple, and then that bright blue changes to light blue. I saw this collection of iron and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I saw the, uh, where's my finger? The hammerhead right there. And I was like, oh, how about that? I started looking and there's some different rusted tools, um, a pipe wrench or whatever. And I started looking and there's a whole collection of lead here and I realized what had happened. All right, so I picked up this little dandy electric lead melter pot for $5 at a yard sale probably five years ago. And like many of my projects of things that are cool like this, I let it set in a box or in the garage for the last five years. Finally, with the recent find of lead bullets in the, in the river, I've gotten it out and we're melting some of the sinkers, the lead that was already in there, and a little bit of other lead that I'm putting in. Now there's some burning going on, so I'm not staying over here for very long at, at a time, but most of the burning is actually happening on the wood underneath. See there? But we're not sure how much of it is the fumes from the lead. We are doing this outside, and how much of it's from the wood, so we're just uh, going at it a little bit at a time, and we're going to pour it into this uh, Easter tin lid to make a mold as a first test run. I'm not sure with the coating that's on there what it's going to do. Hopefully it won't smoke or burn anything too badly. This will be our first try and then our next try is going to be with the copper jacketed lead bullets. Now what I don't know on something like this, you know, there's some oxidation trash on the top if we should put in borax or not for a flux. I'm just going to let that melt real well. All right, so I've got the lead just about ready, and I need to put that out. I'm going to pour it into here. Let's hope it doesn't go badly. All right, get a little bit more down there. Oops. melt through? It may have melted through that metal. I think it melted through that metal. Yeah, it did. Melted through it. Alright, see all the slag in there? Yep. Alright, so now I need to get some more lead going. Since lead is so heavy, it works really well for melting because most all of the unwanted stuff comes up to the top and you can just scrape it right off. And I'm going to pour it into those bricks right there. I kind of chipped away at the mi three middle chambers so that it will should come out easily at the bottom. All right, I'm going to, ouch, the spoon's getting hot. Skim, last little bit. This stuff on the top is starting to oxidize, so you don't want to wait too long before you... I can't get that stuff, so... Here we go. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. I wonder what that is. The concrete or what? Drops of lead. Gotta be careful. Not exactly a win. That was a, not what I was expecting. And here is our copper jacketed lead that we gathered up from the river. So we're just going to gather these up. I'm not sure how this is going to work in this small crucible. I've seen people do it, or the small melting pot. I've seen people do it over a fire in a bigger pot, and it seems to work pretty good. So we'll see. Hopefully this will go 
smoothly. So my brick mold here didn't go as planned. I only poured it into these three and it moved itself through all five of them like that on the bottom. I'm not completely surprised but it just wasn't what I was hoping for so now I gotta figure out how to get those out. Hopefully it won't be too tough. I've got some more of the copper jacketed lead going. I've been picking out the jacket as I can. We were trying to use this can as a mold and it started leaking out the bottom. Well, we got it cooled down with water so it stopped leaking. It's got a layer right there. And I'm going to see if I can do this. If I can pour this new batch in there quickly enough with this um, copper wire sitting on top. If I can't make like a, uh, a sinker weight, but like a four pound or five pound one. So here we go. Wish me luck. Go ahead. More. 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 Hold on. More. Keep going. Hold on. All right, you can't do it now. Hopefully that's enough. Well, I'll hold this and you do a little bit more. Come on. There you go, that was good. All right, I think it worked. Cool. We'll pull it out and show you what we get. Look at the pretty colors. That's from car weights. Or tire weights. And more pretty colors. And more pretty colors. Let me see if I can show you the rainbow of color. Real blue, purple, and then that bright blue changes to light blue. The purple changes to blue. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, well, here is the results of today's labors. I made this uh, five pound sinker weight. I took a couple pours and I just uh, twisted a copper wire down in there so it'll stay it super well. It won't come out at all. I've got a couple of these third to a fourth pound uh, weights. I still got to clean them out. Uh, that was the ones poured into the brick. Didn't really turn out that well. And then I've got, uh, what is it, four of these um, that we poured into the Easter tin, the lid to the Easter tin. This was the last one. Kind of turned out the best. Uh, this was the, actually the second one. Uh, the first one was very bubbly. It was still burning out all of the the lining, the, the I don't know, whatever, probably a plastic or something they put to line the metal 
and it had tons of bubbles and then this one turned out quite a bit better you still see a lot of small bubbles and there's the last one really turned out well and these two right here and what I would like to do with these is put something on there with uh, lead kills Jesus saves something like that because these were made out of uh, bullet lead Th these the four in the Easter tin were made out of um, bullet lead so I thought that that would be kind of cool or ironic or whatever but I don't know if I'll end up doing anything more with them anyway uh, all to get oh and these are about a pound and a half um, one of these, I think this one is the heavier one, so it may be two or two and an eighth. And these are all three, probably slightly more than a pound and a half. But there you go. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sort of thing. Um, oh, one other thing I was going to say. So all together, I got what, uh, I think it was 13 pounds. Um, for the time, for the electricity, for the breathing in fumes, whether it be just the smoke of that, that wood piece that I had underneath, um, just to kind of insulate it so the concrete wouldn't be sapping away all of the heat. Um, all of the inputs involved and everything and just kind of, you know, breathing in, whether it be a little bit of, uh, lead or whatever. I don't think I'm going to do this again. Uh, it wasn't that big of a payout. And I was sure to uh, to drink the roasted dandelion tea to finish the day because this is supposed to be a detoxing tea. And so I figured that uh, my son and I ought to uh, drink a cup of that today, tomorrow, probably a couple times tomorrow just to get a little bit of detox in case we did get a little bit of secondary fumes or whatnot. But anyway, it was fun. Uh, it was a good experience. I'm glad I finally used that... Uh, lead melting pot. Just not sure when I'm going to do it again. Um, maybe if I have access to a firing range where I can collect, you know, a ton of uh, bullets and actually melt them all in a in a big pot, you know, get 20 pounds done it in one pour, that might be worth it. Um, otherwise, not so much. All right. Thanks again. Bye-bye.